Hey, Paul, what's going on in the market? Is it really cooling down? That's a great question. It's a very interesting time in the real estate market. There's lots going on this month to talk about demand, supply, and interest rates. And especially what you should be doing about it. So Treb just released some numbers for June 2021. So that's comparing June 2021 to June 2020. Sales were up almost 30%, but they're actually down from May. And May was actually down from April. On the price side, similarly, prices were up 17% year over year versus last year, but they're actually down slightly, almost about 1.7% uh, from May. And what are you seeing in the marketplace? Like? Well, what I'm seeing in the market, and of course, we've been involved with a lot of negotiations and quite a number of bids. And where last year, or, or excuse me, about three months ago, we were seeing 15, 16, 12 minimally bids. Now we're back to kind of 2019 numbers where it's three or four, or maybe at the max five bids on any one uh, given bid night. So quite a, you know, so prices are still strong. It's just not insanity. Totally. And you know, I've noticed clients, honestly, it's nice out, <laughs> you know, yeah. we're opening up the economy. So a lot of people just want to get out there and hang out and do, enjoy life again, right? They're maybe less interested in. I agree. I mean, we didn't see a break this time last year uh, at this time, as you know, I worked yeah. every day during the summertime. And that was because of the unique situation that we're in. Yeah. I think also because of the unique situation that we're in now where it's opening up. Even I went on holiday. You've been on holiday. Everybody's yeah. going on holiday. Mm -hmm. We're getting out to patios and we're not sitting inside talking about real estate because there's nothing else to do. <laughs> exactly. Right? Yeah. So what are the market fundamentals telling you, Paul? So really this market's driven by supply, demand and low interest rates. So let's face it, yeah. right? Yeah. So on the supply side, Canada is actually the lowest uh, average housing units per thousand people uh, compared to the rest of the G7. Yeah. We would have to build 1.8 million units just to get up to that. And so Toronto is going to be chronically undersupplied for the next at least 10 plus years. Yeah. Right? And on top of that, we're going to have immigration coming back very, very rapidly. Totally. Uh, to give you an idea, we had 200 and almost 240,000 people immigrate to Toronto in 2019. And then it was 40,000. We lost 200,000. <laughs> that is good. We're going to be up over 200,000 next year for sure. Yeah. Uh, all, all levels of government have called for that. So that's going to be a huge push, particularly as you know, first time buyers in the uh, condo market, that's going to start surging back and it'll have a ripple effect all the way through. Completely. And low yeah. interest rates. So the Bank of Canada just announced they're not planning on raising the overnight rate until at least mid 2022. Yeah. You know, there is some short term inflation concerns, but what they're saying is that's primarily driven by supply issues and and, yep. mar and current economic inequalities. Yep. But, you know, they're not forecasting any interest rate moves to at least 2022. And even beyond that, there there's probably just going to be minimal interest rate increases. So. Yeah. I'm, if, as you know, even so people who are building right now, they're starting to see the cost of lumber and things like that, that got yep. insane, starting to come down. The market's totally. starting to react. Gas prices may or may not come back down, but inflation uh, is probably going to start to stabilize. Yeah, they're sort of forecasting yeah. back to 2% in the next yeah. probably year and a half, two yeah. years. Okay, so knowing the market conditions, Paul, what would you do about it? So, well, uh, as you know, I'm in the middle of a reno, right? Yeah. So I think a lot of people were waiting to buy because the price of construction material is so high. Yeah. But listen, you know, now is the time, you know, people often want to try and time a market, right? Yeah. Now is the time when the market's actually normal. We're not having these crazy bidding wars, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and I always think you should always be looking and just pounce on a deal when you find it. But particularly now, you know, when we don't have to compete with 20, 30 buyers, now is a great time to start looking to buy, especially a house, especially to renovate. Yeah. And I, you know, we've been dealing with a lot of investors uh, recently and particularly uh, condos. I p would be looking to buy a condo right now sure. before that rush of immigration comes in, because that is the foundation of the condo market. So looking yeah. to get in for a one bedroom condo, an investment condo or a first time buyer, I would want to do it now 100%. before 
September, October, when we start to really see that rush of immigration coming well, and back. And we've seen freehold yeah. and condos do this, right? Where the gap is actually widened significantly between both. Yeah. That's going to close, I think is exactly what you're saying. Yeah, we've yeah. been able to cash flow condos again, or at least have it flat. And that hasn't happened yeah. for a couple and of years. And rents are coming back. Yep. Tenants are coming back, so great. And then what about selling? Like. You know, we're selling a few places. Well, here's the right thing. It's, it's an interesting thing. We say, okay, prices are down slightly or flat. They're essentially flat, but yeah. they are flat at the very highest they've ever been. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, is, is this going to be flat for a while? Well, we don't know, but we know that you're at the top of the market right now in yeah. history. Sure. So is it still a good time to sell? I would say so. Yeah. 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 So it's a good time to buy and a good time to sell. <laughs> yeah. It, it, particularly depending upon what you're looking for. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Well, we hope you found this video hugely helpful. If you like it, please hit the like button. Please leave a comment below. If you're interested in buying or selling real estate, shoot us an email, info at thinkto.ca. Talk soon.